Hi everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry. Thank you for joining me tonight. Tonight's project is going to be a swipe painting. So I'm going to prepare the canvas and then I'll bring you back down to show you the colors we're going to use tonight. Be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back and I have flooded this 20 by 20 level 3 canvas with my flow acrylic white from uh, Artist Loft. And torch these bubbles real quick and then we'll talk about the colors. Okay, so my colors for this one are going to be Quinacridone Magenta. And I've poured these into little cups because a lot of these I had made up um, ahead of time and have been using them on other paintings. So um, the next one is going to be my Deep, deep Magenta. Then I have Artist Love Light Magenta. I have um, Apple Barrel, just a little bit of yellow left over. Then I had some Ready Pour Deco Art Lemon. So I'm going to try to add that. And then I have some leftover oranges that I had from a fire painting that I had done. And a little bit of leftover pink that I might throw in as well because I don't want to waste it. And then I haven't decided for sure yet. I'm going to see how this goes. But I have Deco Art Metallic Sterling Silver. And then I have a just plain metallic silver that I mixed up. So I'm trying, I'll look at uh, the painting and then we'll decide on which of these we're going to use. And then, as usual, we're going to pop it out with some Artist Loft uh, Titanium White. Now again, this is going to be a swipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little puddle and I'm going to pour it down here. Doesn't mean the painting is going to end up facing that direction, but I'm going to pour it down here and then we're going to add the other colors and then we're going to fling some paint. So here we go. I'm just going to pour a little puddle here. It'll help my other colors move around when I, when I fling them. All right. So I'm just going to put some the Cranacra Dome. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put some of the lighter orange next. And I did a fire picture or a painting like this, um, and that's where a lot of these oranges and yellows are from. So we got that, and then I think we're gonna go with the lemon. Okay. And then we're gonna go with light magenta. Deep magenta. That's pretty. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Hmm, not bad. Yay! Yay! I thought we were going to have a disaster there for a second. Okay, and then I'm going to use the um, the uh, dark yellow here. Canary yellow, I think it is. Like that. And then I'm going to put some more of this in. This is the light magenta. So I really want this paint to fly. And in order to do that, I need enough paint on here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll move all this out of the way so it doesn't get flung on. And I think I would like my start color again. So I'm going to do the conacridone right there. Okay. I've already uh, put up some barriers over there, so when I start flinging, um, I don't ruin everything in my my dining room here. 
Okay, so here we're gonna we are gonna use the metallic sterling silver, and I think I'll throw some of the metallic in there too. So I like to just give it a little swirl, and this one comes out fast. I'm gonna do a swirl that way. All right. So now. You can fling your paint with anything you want to. I have these nice little uh, spatulas that I got at um, the Goodwill, and I like to use them for everything. So I use them to put my flood color down, and I also use them to fling paint. So we're gonna fling. Now, you don't have to just fling it and expect it a beautiful picture out of it. Um, you kind of need to know like which direction you want to go, where do you want it to end, where do you want it to stop, do you want to swirl it. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to swing for the corner. Okay, not much happened there, but it'll pop. And then I think I'm going to swing that way. And then I think I need to go that way. And that went all over. And I don't think it's done yet, so I think I would like to bring some back to this corner. See why this is fun? This is like you get to throw paint and make something out of it um, without getting yelled at. Okay, that looks nice. And I think I'm just going to go up one more time this way. Oops, I got that all over my floor. Okay. Um, all right, so now that we're done flinging, what you do is um, I see a lot of bubbles popping up, so I'm going to pop the bubbles first. I should have popped those before, I think. But let's get rid of some of those big bubbles. Yeah. Okay, then. to get something more creative out of it. So I'm tilt it down there. And then we're going to come back over here. Because I like to go back to my center. And go that way. Sorry you can't see this, but I have to get this back to the center. And I want to stretch it just a little bit more over here. And I think I like where we're at here. Yep. Okay, so I like where we're at. So I'm going to bring it down to And then I'm gonna stop right there. Oh, I think that's pretty. So again, this is a messy thing, but it's fun. So um, now you have the option of leaving it as it is, or you can fiddle around with it a little bit more and uh, see what you can get out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on pause and I'll be back. Okay everyone, I'm back. Um, my fiddling with it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I really didn't like the composition. Um, I felt like we were, I was missing some extra pizzazz in there. So I worked on this for quite a while and came up with this and I really like it. I added some more silver, um, I went back and got uh, a little bit of each of the colors, did some additional swirls and now I have a nice um, negative space area here that I like. The composition is going to be um, the corner ways. Um, this is how I like it. Um, I'm f it's actually facing you right now. And um, so the white space would be at the top and then all of this beautiful um, orange magentas and yellows will be the um, focal point at the bottom. So I really like it now and um, this is how it's going to end. So I'm going to let this dry, then I'm going to seal it and after that, it will be up on the website for sale. If anyone's interested, my information will be at the end of this video. 
and I do appreciate you for watching. Um, stop by in a few days and there'll be another video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.